Don has invited whatever entity that is to the ring. Let's see if he or she shows. The Don has to be a little bit more careful. I don't think this is the right time or moment to invite whatever that is down here. I'm actually scared. Whoa. That's no ghost. That's no ghost. That's DJ, the first ever MPW television champion. And an appearance that he's going to accept the challenge from the Don. Holy shit. Business just picked up. These two know each other very well. When DJ was MPW Television Champion... It's nothing personal. I built the foundation for that championship. I came back to MPW for one reason only. To become champion again, I want back what's mine. I got a lot of respect for Geechee, but I'm willing to go there for what's mine. While Geechee was the MPW Champion, for 455 days, DJ held the championship for 120 days. I know it's a lot of respect between the two. Oh my god. Sister Abigail, looking for the victory! Two! I put blood, sweat, tears into this company day in, day out, brick by brick. I built this company when no one was watching till now the whole world is watching. And you motherfuckers think y'all get to leave and come back whenever you feel like it. You think you're gonna come back in my ring, in my arena, in my city and go for my championship? I got the longest reign in BW history. I held all the championships. This is what I do. I put on five star classics day in and day out. And I hope you're ready to go there because I'm already fucking there. on your record for me yet. like I'm gonna have to change that. I want you to look deep into my eyes. Our words just begun. And now that I've taken away your opportunity to win, I'm gonna take away your opportunity of being relevant. Bye. Fuck you, bye. Fuck you, bye. Wait a minute. Is Dallas Casper? Is this coming to cash in right now? No, he's not! From behind! Dallas Cash from behind! What? I'm Dallas Cash. I'm buying the fucking world. And I'm cashing this bitch in. Get that Britney Griner looking ass nigga up off the damn ground. You gonna put me over, motherfucker. Oh, he gets him the receipt. And there it is. Cashing in. One, two, three. And he cashes the highway robbery here tonight. He just stole. They kept me in the dark for so long. I had to do something. Jay Mac. I had to cheat to win. Because you cheated me out of everything that I wanted when I first came here. So I found a way to even the odds in the darkness. So you can't see. 
but this is me in the hospital. I just had my appendix removed. Going through hell. With you. And you can put on whatever title you want. But the fact of the matter is, I took a piece of you and it cost me my appendix. But if I'm willing to go through that to keep my championship, imagine what I'll do just to take yours. You know what's a trope with this company that's so fucking annoying? Whenever somebody wants to make it big, whenever they want to make a name for themselves, grab that brass ring, rise to the top of the mountain, what's the first thing they always do? They pick a fight with me. I am sick of making stars. I am sick of everybody coming to me to put them on the pedestal of excellence. Dallas Cash is just another person that wants to try and get his 15 minutes of fame at my expense. And I'm sick of it. Every week with him, it's the same tired Chuck, same tired Chuck. With every week, the MPW World Championship gets more irrelevant than before. No more. Next pay-per-view, I'm taking that title back. Dallas, you've done nothing to elevate this company to make it better than what it is. Like I said before, that title made you. I made that title. Knox, I appreciate you offering the help, but I don't need it. Dallas basically gave away that I can beat him with no problem, simply because he needs help to beat me. And when I get my belt back, you can go back to the island of relevancy you call Akron, Ohio, making Brian Pillman look like, look decent in a rap battle. Tick tock, Dallas. In 15 minutes of fame are up. Cash. Lucas. You really aren't the greatest of all time. Maybe the most decorated, fattest piece of shit of all time. In the shortest amount of time, I've made a bigger impact on the world and in the MPW than you ever have. The only thing you proved is that you and I both know I can beat you. And I'll be expecting that rematch that I'm gonna get. You can win all your matches. You can make all your five-star performances, but you're a one-star-minded individual with one-dimensional talent. I'm so confident I'll beat you. I'll even put the BDW World title on the line. Winner take all, you and me, one more time. And you have to sit there and understand that there is suffering that will come because of your actions, J Mag. And then I'm there. There will be a show of that. That I am the greatest MPW wrestler of all time. So I want you to sit your fat ass down, have yourself a sandwich, get a Coke, a bag of chips. It's gonna be a long, refreshing ride for me before I ever let a fat fuck like you who can't even get on Craig's list and order a neck, stick his neck in my business. I'm not gonna lie. Our first run in PW, we were very young. I thought we were good. Now I soon realized that we weren't that good. And I was too immature, drinking, a lot of things was getting away. My tag team partner suffered from that. So I put myself in rehab to get better so I could be a better tag team partner. This is the night that my eye got completely shut from his kick. Wasn't no contest, but then we lost the rematch at the once again game busted open. That night, I considered that we were done. If we could be any names to get in contention, then what the fuck are we doing here? Once again, we won the battle royal, and now we finally get a match with the young dogs. Look at us. Young, not a hair on our bodies. At this time, we were partying every night, and we were drinking too. So that's no excuse. We put them titles on our back. I don't even remember that night. And we had a classic. Like this are really foundational to the sports entertainment experience. You're 100% right, Paul. Think of the legend. And 
set him up. Oh, and he lands. That's going to hurt. Look out. Poor spook. Going fast and living dangerously. And then the poison He's got him where he wants it from oh. him. Oh. Uh -oh, more tandem offense on the way. Look at this. There's a the kick. Oh. Looks like the champ. Not so fast. We were not 100% that night, we smoked that day, we drank that day, had sex that day, and we still kicked y'all fucking asses. My partner got injured, he went to rehab, we didn't cry about it, we didn't fuss about it. I became a champion at two different companies, and I wasn't sure if my guy was going to return or not. I know it was tough for him, it was tough for me, because he's normally always by my side, and even when I was wrestling, how hard that was, he still was by my side. Irish whip off the ropes! Excellent dragon suplex. Here comes Ryan looking for lights out. It's game over. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? That's really lights out. That's whispers. Oh my god. Knox hit him with a chair. What is going on? Walter looking for the bad ending. He hits it. The prophecy is coming to life. One, two, and the lights are out again. Wait, no, Aaron didn't take that kindly. Knox hit his man and what a pop. Oh no, choke slam to Walter. Choke slam to Walter, damn. Oh no, and a choke slam to your MPW champion. Holy shit. The reality is y'all wasn't seeing this then. Y'all damn sure not seeing this now. We've been in every type of scenario, any type of match, you name it, Hell in a Cell. We beat two first Bala Hall of Famers to become tag team champions. Holy pan. Two. We took out the Colt. Oh, oh my gosh! Came back our very first match in the ladder match and won the tag team championships again. One thing's for sure, two things for certain, you will always be champions. We have always been respectful, we always appreciated what you did for the tag team division, in general. But you want to disrespect us, you want to discredit us, you want to laugh at my pain, laugh at my addiction? We've been training for this match, and I'm going to be addicted to putting my foot in your ass. You see, y'all think that we're still them same guys that used to lose to y'all a couple years ago, contenders, and the biggest threat to your championships, and I think you know that. At MPW Armageddon, We'll go for the biggest upset in MPW history, the Yardy Boys. for a 
suplex here. Oh, 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 the best shot looks more. keep booing me all night and it doesn't change the fact that I am second to nobody and if y'all want to boo me boo yourself because each and every one of you are trash beneath my boots You told me to step up, and that's exactly what I did. You stepped up, now it's time for you to get put. You want the championship? Come take it at MPW Armageddon. As you should remember, I am a gold hunter, a natural leader, not your young bull. No, I didn't return to MPW to take orders. I came to shake this shit up and make my own path as a true natural leader of this company. Your reign about to be over, Knox. Not my young boy, but you will be my bitch. Word, I know what the fuck going on. Shibway Gorilla Cruz. I hear a super heavyweight championship on the line. Next pay-per-view, you know I'm going to make it to the finals. You know what I'm going to do. I'm taking that belt, so I'm a champion. What's up, Cobbs? Yeah, I heard about that championship contenders match next week also. I'm gonna see you around, cousin. You know, we come from the same place. It's me and you, Cobbs. Do him all you want. He's just feeding off it more. Gorilla season, bitch. Look at him, totally you know what it is, man. With the WWE Universe all right, Cobbs. Right now. Watch your body out here, baby. Fuck that nigga talking about, man. Watch what, nigga? Gorilla He's sees a huge boost right now. Pussy, I told you watch your back, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, look at you now. Fuck out of here, nigga. He's showing them what superiority really looks like. See you around.
stand an ovation for the most dominant wrestler in the entire world, the MPW Women's Champion Ty Reco, with 60 and no for title defenses, as well as 500 day reign. We haven't seen her since emergence, when Rebecca Quinn decided to light a table on fire and put her through it after a Hell Aces match between Ty Reco and Money Monet. And she's back home tonight to let us know what her future holds. For three years, I've been coming out here, doing what I love to do, performing at the highest level in front of all of you. And I don't make it to 500 days as champion without y'all by my side. So I want to say thank you. The truth is I always wanted to be a professional wrestler. The truth is, I always want to give y'all five-star matches. The truth is, I don't know how much time I have left. No, 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 no. The truth is, I am the first and only NPW Women's Champion and this shit ain't over. Rebecca Quinn, you want to step in my ring and put your hands on me on my pay-per-view? Is only one way you're going to fill my wrath in hell and a cell, bitch. <laughs>